Okay, let's do our warm ups. So, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, spread those toes out, sitting bones down, core active. So, ribs towards your spine and up and lengthen through your spine. Shoulders back and down and crown to the ceiling. Take a moment just focusing inward. Spread your toes out, get evenly balanced into the base of the toes and the heels. And don't forget to breathe, drawing in energy and awareness. Exhaling stress and tension. And just take a few moments there. And let's do a little calming first. So bring your right hand in front of your nose. Put the thumb on the right nostril. And exhale out of the left nostril and then inhale. And then reverse that, putting your little finger or little and ring finger on the left nostril, releasing the right, exhaling and inhaling, just slowly alternating, going back and forth, breathing out and in on each side. And just feel that calmness descending on you. And the next time you release and exhale, just bring your hand back down to your side. Take a moment there, feeling that calm energy moving through you. And then lengthen up through your spine, shoulders down. Let's just gently move side to side in that windmill. Getting the spine working, just slowly dropping those shoulders, letting everything relax and release a little bit more. And we do so maybe a little further at each end of that circuit, but not too far, just being gentle today with yourselves. And then back to the center and take a moment, feeling that energy starting to move through you a little bit. And then we'll do our regular warm up, inhaling the arms to shoulder level, shoulders still down, stretch it out. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, stretch way out to the front, shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind you, just clasp the fingers together behind you, press them toward the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head back. Exhale, pivoting at your hips, come on all the way over. Bring your hands up toward the ceiling. Head down towards your legs. Just relax there a moment. Move your chin around a little to let your neck relax. Lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, and just slowly wind back up. Just allow that spine to move one bone at a time all the way back. And again, into a little back bend, lifting your heart. Remember, keep stretching out through your neck, so don't lift the chin too high. Keep spreading your toes. And oh yeah, don't forget to breathe. Inhaling, excuse me, come up, release into mountain pose. Just feel how your body is getting a little bit more warmed up. Same thing, inhaling, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way, so shift them one position over behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, get a nice upper body back bend, and then pivot as you exhale. And just take a moment there again, just letting that head come down, maybe a little further towards your legs. Tuck in your chin slightly, and again, just work your way slowly back up, and another heart high. Shoulder dropping, spine stretching back bend. And again, inhaling, come upright, releasing back into mountain pose. Take a moment, just feel your body just a little bit more stimulated as you're getting ready to stretch the sides. Let's keep one hand down, the other arm out. Keep that shoulder down, turn the palm up, arm right above your shoulder. Push the hands away, no twist, just lean to the side, keeping your body facing forward. Maybe look up a little bit and then push the foot you're leaning away from down just a little bit more. 
Take a breath, stretch it out, let that fingertip go toward your knee. And then inhale back upright, exhale and release. Just feel that side a little bit more open. And let's do the other one, arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch away and lean to the opposite side. Flip going down as you lean away from it and reach out through your head and fingers. Take a breath, just deepening. And once more, inhale up, exhale, and release. Circle the shoulders a couple of times, bringing them up, back, and down. And then again into mountain pose. As you get there, get ready to twist. So remember, stretch that spine apart again. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Just gently clasp your elbows, bring them back by your ears. Lift your heart high, spinning bones down, and stretch into your twist. Take a breath, exhale, pivot over in the twist, and just spread your toes, lift your Sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. Let that twist happen. Don't force anything. See if your weight is still on both feet. And then slowly work your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and pull your elbows back. Take a moment there, just breathing, relaxing into that. Inhale back up. Exhale around to the center. Your arms around, and again, pull the arms back by your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down, crown high. And as you twist, stretch it out, exhaling, take a breath, and again, exhale over. And again, on this side, keep the weight on both feet, keep your arms by your ears, just feel your body, lift your sitting bones maybe a little more, and slowly work your way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and pull the elbows slightly back as you look slightly up toward the ceiling. Remember, keep stretching that neck. Take a breath. Just relaxing in that back bend in the upper body. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and come into extended mountain. Sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders down, fingertips up. Feel that lengthening through your whole body. Spread your toes out. And then pivot at your hips. Keep your arms by your ears. See if you can get parallel to the floor with that upper body. And then just drop into ragdoll. Let your arms hang wherever they want to be today. Stretch your spine straight and long. And just turn toward one side. Just gently, hands to the outside of that leg. And then back to the center, stretch it out again, and again, move the hands to the other leg as you move just slightly toward, toward that side. And back to the center. Knees slightly bent, and again, from the bottom of the spine, just wind all the way up and into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling we worked all those six directions for the spine, so everything's a little bit more stimulated and ready to work. So keeping your feet hip width apart, spread your toes, make sure those knees are going toward your second toes. Sitting bones down, shoulders relaxing. Bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. And again, pull those shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones down as you reach the crown and fingertips up. We're gonna go into our chair squat just gently, not really deep today. So push those sitting bones back, knees toward your toes, but not beyond. And just sink as far down as your body wants to go. Keep your arms by your ears, shoulders going toward your waist, and head reaching toward your fingertips. Feel that spine, just let it lengthen. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale, fingertips rising and pulling your body back all the way into extended mountain. Turn your palms out, bring your hands to shoulder level. Keep them there for a moment and bend your elbows, fingertips together, elbows right at shoulder level. 
and pull the fingertips apart, elbows back, fingertips together. Inhale, bring the arms out, all the way around, inhaling all the way toward the back, as far as your arms want to go. They can go really far if you want, but it's not necessary today, just gently. And then bring the fingertips back together. And one more time, elbows back, chest opening, fingertips together. Open a little bit more as you bring those arms all the way out toward the back. And fingertips together. Release that. And again, into mountain pose. As you get into mountain pose, just take a moment. Feel your spine, shoulders relaxing. Just circle them maybe a couple of times. And reach the crown up. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees. Remember, no pressure, just positioning so that your shoulders will stay right at your toe level. And then push the sitting bones a little further back and start swinging the sitting bones around, hips around, and just gentle circles. Feel those feet getting a little massage as you move those knees toward your toes and around in that circle as the hips work and the whole lower body. And then stop and reverse the direction of that circuit. Just going the other way gently, feeling what's going on through that whole back, hips, legs, knees, ankles, feet. And then come back into the center, find your little point out in front of you. Be focused there and lift your heels coming onto that ball of the foot, base of the chill area, spreading your toes out, and just finding your balance as much as you can today. And then roll onto your heels, lifting your toes and back and forth just a few times for that whole bottom of the foot to get some massaging. And then release and come back up into mountain pose. Feet hip width apart. Again, stacked and straight and stretching apart as you breathe. Shoulders rotating again a few times, just gently. Bring your heels of your palms to your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. Pull those elbows toward each other again, just expanding across the chest and heart area. Keep your hips above your ankles and lift your heart toward the ceiling. Just push your head slightly back behind you, so just a gentle supported back bend to there. Take a breath, exhale any stress, lift your heart maybe a little bit higher, and then chin slightly towards your chest, come on back up, and again, release, just feeling that whole body a little bit more stimulated and ready to work. Bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. We'll do that side stretch, that's Roxanne's favorite. So fingertips up, coming up on the base of the toes on the other foot, lifting that hand and head as you push down into the foot on the side you're stretching. So only this side has the heel. Feel those ribs, let them lengthen. Exhale that side down. Inhale, come up on the other heel, lifted. Side, you're stretching, that foot is flat. You're just really lengthening through the side of your body, breathing into it, stretching it out, opening those ribs. And then both feet down, both arms up, just really stretching again into mountain. Extended mountain stretch, breathing. Keep those shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Sink evenly into your feet. Exhale, hands to shoulder level, and release all the way down. Take a moment, just feeling the sides a little bit more lengthened. Spread your toes on your favorite balance foot. We'll just do just a gentle warm up there. Knee toward your second toe so that everything is aligned. So remember, you may need to roll in a little for that full leg. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Or active, so remember the ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Crown reaches up, 
And when you're ready, again, rolling in at the top of the legs so you don't cross the foot over. Just bring the foot up gently. You can be close to the floor if your balance challenge today or pull it further toward your foot. Work your ankle because we don't want to get old and inflexible. We want to be able to keep our balance. Like some points, straighten it out, bring it back down, and into mountain pose. Feel what's going on through your body. Shift what work to the other side. Spread those toes out, get that ball of the foot, base of the toe area supporting, not the toes. Remember, if you grip the toes, you get less support. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, core active, shoulder blades, shoulders towards your waist, and again, reaching the head up, bring the other leg as high as you want it on the side. Once more, when you're stable, just circle the ankle both ways. Feel what's going on down in that foot area. And again, just flex and point to release. Back in mountain pose, bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands. Inhale all the way toward the ceiling. Come into your back bend as deeply or gently as you want. Look at your thumbs. Keep stretching the back of your neck. Keep lifting your heart. Feel the body. Exhale, pivot over as you bring your hands first to your heart. And then just drop into ragdoll. Remember the pivots right there at that hip joint. Lift the sitting bones. Get those legs stretching a little bit more. Pull the hands behind your calves. Bring your head a little further toward your legs for a little more stretch through that low back. Release your hands and just roll one more time up. Shoulders back and down. And one more time into mountain pose. Take a moment there. Just feel your body. Clasp your forearms behind you. Right at your waist. Just a little gentle waist area support. Bend your knees toward your toes and just a little bit more circling through those hips. Lower body. Just feel what's going on gently as you circle. And then stop and go the opposite direction with those circles. Feel the legs, ankles, hips, your back working, keeping those shoulders just relaxed. And then releasing back into mountain pose. Take a moment there. And Angle your toes slightly out. We'll do our hip pelvis rotation. So bring your knees toward your second toes. <clears throat> Remember, don't go beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. Position again, no support. So don't press your hands into your legs. Shoulders above your toes. <clears throat> Spread your toes. And then stretch your spine long. <clears throat> And then drop the ribs forward and the chest to the front as you look slightly to the front. Push that sitting bones way back so you're getting that pelvis moving, coming into a back bend. Drop the ribs, lift the heart, shoulders toward your waist. And then tuck the sitting bones down and forward as you pull the ribs back toward your spine. And tuck your chin slightly as you look down between the toes. So a little bit of motion through that whole spine, feeling that pelvis really rotating back into the back bend, chest expanding forward, and exhaling, tucking way down and under, pulling those ribs in and looking down. So remember, the hands are just positioning, you're not supporting, they're just keeping your shoulders above your toes as you go through your range of motion. Just follow your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And the next time you're forward, just inhale back up and into mountain pose one more time. Feel all that stimulation through your body, hands to your heart. And again, looking at your pants, bring them toward the ceiling into a nice back bend as you lift your heart. Exhale, just gently, slowly pivoting over all the way down. 
Hands up under your knees into that halfway up stretch. So knees straight, elbows straight, spine straight. Get those sitting bones and crown reaching away. Keep that neck stretching. And then bending your knees, come on all the way, transitioning to the floor, coming into our child pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Take a breath. Just relax. And as you come into your stretch along your spine, you can keep your knees together, getting that low back really stretched, or you can spread them apart and breathe easily. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels. You can keep your legs um, relaxed. We're going to bring the hands behind and just clasp the fingers, press them toward the floor, pulling those shoulders back and down. <clears throat> Look up slightly, stretch your whole spine, and just a little tiny gentle back bend. And then pivot your hips coming forward, tuck your chin in, bring your hands up toward the ceiling and your forehead down toward the floor. Just a little kneeling yoga mudra. So chin slightly in, forehead down toward your knees, hands up toward the ceiling, or further a little bit toward your head. Feel that whole body getting a really good stretch. And then as you inhale, rotate your face forward, lifting your crown, bringing those hands back down toward your hips and as you come back into that kneeling position. And remember, if that's too much on your knees, you can always pad between your calves and thighs. Switch the fingers one position over so the other fingers the outside. We're going to do the same thing. So again, lifting your heart, looking slightly up, but not too much. Remember, don't lift the chin enough to crunch the back of your neck. Just keep stretching out through the top of your head, through the base of your skull. Lift your heart. Drop those shoulder blades towards your waist. Take a breath. And again, as you exhale, pivot at your hip joint, slowly bringing your hands up and your head down. Take a moment there, just breathing as you get as deeply into that as your body wants. Chin slightly toward your chest, hands moving toward your head, wherever you are. You can keep the heels of the palms together if you want a little bit more shoulder work, or just let them spread apart for a gentle work today. And inhale, slowly face forward, cramp up, chin slightly rising and lifting your heart. Chin not too high and shoulders down. And then face to the front, releasing and coming into staff position. So as you get into staff position, sitting bones behind you, remember you can pad if you need to for that pelvis. And push out through the heels, pull those toes back, get the backs of the legs relaxing down toward the floor. Let's warm the hips up for a little bit. So bring one foot to that opposite thigh, knee coming down toward the floor. If this is tight for you today, knee and leg over to the side with the knee and toes still up, or you can keep it to the front. Just let this hip relax as that knee comes down. Weight of your hands, but not pressure. If you want a little bit extra incentive to have that knee coming down. And just go as far as your knee wants to go. It's always personal practice. All our yoga is personal practice. Bring the foot and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull it in a little more for that hip rotator and then move it back and forth. So closer and higher makes it more intense or just be gentle wherever your body is today. Lengthen up through the crown as you're working back and forth. Feel it getting a little more lubricated, hopefully. And then release. Feel the difference. Yeah, so we got to balance and do the other one. Foot up to that other thigh and knee coming down. Knee and toes up, just keep pushing out through that bottom of your foot. Again, you can put weight but not pressure with your hands. You can move the leg over to the side, just letting that knee come down as much toward the floor as it wants on this side. Breathe deep, tension out, let everything go. 
As you breathe and relax, just allow yourself to release any awareness of that hip joint, letting it do its thing. And again, when you're ready, bring the foot and leg into your arms or hands, move side to side. Keep those shoulders relaxing. Don't remember, don't forget to keep stretching up through your crown and keeping those shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Hey, that core is still active too. Don't forget that. Just move that rotator, getting a little more lubricated, looser, higher, closer, whatever is working for you today. And again, releasing and relaxing, feeling those hips reaching the crown toward the ceiling, getting ready to, yeah, we're going to dive our dolphin. So sitting bones behind you, shoulders back and down, core active and stretching through the spine. Bring your right foot to your inner left leg and knee out to the side. Bring your left heel back near your hip or wherever it goes. Keep that left hip slightly up so you can reach toward the ceiling, keeping that Full spine active as you turn to the side. You don't want that side planted. Exhale, ribs back, tuck your chin, dive your forehead towards your knee. Rotate face forward, crown toward the ceiling, lift your heart to the sun and the sky. So just dive your dolphin, exhaling under the water toward your knee, inhaling up to the sun and the sky as you rise. Remember, keep stretching the back of your neck, not crunching it. And the next time you come up to the top, exhale around to the center and release your legs back into staff. Take a moment as you get back there, feel the spine a little more stimulated from that work and we'll dive our dolphin the other way. So, this is left foot to the inner right thigh, right heel coming back. Stretch up through the whole spine, turning, Letting that whole body twist. Ribs toward your spine, chin slightly tucked as you stretch the back of your neck, diving under with the exhalation. And inhaling, coming all the way up, lifting your heart. And again, just do your own breath pace, diving under toward the knee, lifting up toward that ceiling, sun, and sky. And just feel the spine as well as the breath. As you come back up again, exhale back to the center, releasing your legs into step. Feel a little more stimulation from that diving dolphin. And bring your feet to the end of the mat. <clears throat> Core activated, letting your body slowly roll to the floor. And as you get all the way down, just take a moment, reclined integration, shoulders toward the mat, hands, palms up toward the ceiling. Soften your belly. Exhale, just let your whole body grow heavy and sink. Move your head side to side, let your neck release a little bit, and then find a comfortable position in the middle. Draw your toes toward each other. And then just let your legs relax, knees, toes, slightly up toward the ceiling. Hands and palms up just to keep those shoulders sinking toward the floor. Deep breath in, scan your body, find any tightness left, and let it go. Softening everything through the hips, through the pelvis, through the spine, through the legs, everything softening your face and yourself. Exhale, just deepen a little bit. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, just between your lips, blow it out. That a few times, just exhaling a little longer than the inhalation, letting everything really relax. And as your body softens and sinks deeper into that earth embrace, just let it go. And let awareness of your body release as well. 
It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. As you let thoughts of your body go, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. There's no need to pay attention to the content of the thoughts. No need to think of the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath, floating away without attention. Allowing your body to deepen that earth connection, sinking and softening, and your mind to lighten and float without awareness of your thoughts. Just allow your attention to release both your body and your mind. Focus on the breath. Focus on the peace within. Breathe the peace in. Breathing out anything else. And just allow your body to fill with peace. Your breath to fill with peace, your mind to fill with peace, and take a few moments just breathing in peace. And of course, relaxing longer is even better. So if you have the time, take as much as you have. Keep breathing and relaxing. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you begin breathing a little more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, whatever's feeling right for you today. As you breathe and stretch more completely, when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels up toward your hips and knees up toward your head. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, Bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, sit back up, getting ready for whatever is ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.